Hi, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to illustrate the uh, this is the uh, beauty of mathematics. Um, for this case, I'm going to use a uh, Vedic mathematics and use an algorithm that I created when I was a math major. Um, it's predicated off of Vedic mathematics. Um, this is just a pattern that exists, and it shows how to convert a uh, square into a triangle, or in this case, an inverted triangle that we see right here. Um, essentially, what we do to multiply this number is you start with the uh, initial node. This is the initial point right here. And uh, what you do is you're going, we're going, you go along this direction, in this direction, along this linear path. And you start with, uh, if, if this is considered, uh, if we let like 1, 1 equals uh, A, 2 equals B, uh, 3 equals C, dot, 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 and you continue. Basically, what we do is we start with, uh, to do this, you start with A squared. So basically, um, so 1, so in this case, if 1, 2, we're doing 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we're squaring it. So this is A, so we're denoting this as A, this is B, so forth. So it's basically this equals to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared dot dot dot. So a c d a b c d e f g h i, and then we do plus two a b plus two b c plus two c d. And then we notice with this pattern, it shifted one unit. Basically, we're, this is what we start up here. You start with now, you're connecting one and two together, and then two and three together, and four. So it shifted one unit, plus, and then all the way to H, HI squared. And then you, we take plus 2 AC plus 2 B, D, notice the distinction right here. The distance between A and C is 2, the distance between B and D. So the distance is 1, or distance is, uh, so this is like distance. So we start with like 0, the distance is 1, the distance becomes 2, 3, all the way to N. So basically, we're going to continue this pattern. And then you get plus H, so that's A, B, C, D, F, G, 2, G, I. Uh, this shouldn't be squared. And then, and then, for instance, the next case is 2, A, D, plus 2, B, E, plus, and then the distance now, A, B, C, D, F, G, you uh, see, plus 2, F, I. And you, go, you basically go until you get to the end. So you continue and you're shifting basically one unit always shifting one unit um, to the left and so forth um, to derive this relation. So if we're going to multiply this together, we're going to start with, start here. So we start here. So what we do is we start with the rule is if the number is less than 10, you add a zeros place before the digit. Now, if the number is greater than 100, you have to shift one unit to the left. And if it's greater than uh, less than 10, you have to shift one unit to the right. So, for instance, that's why we had a zeros place to the left. In the other case, um, if it's over 100, you're just... And I'll, I'll show you how. And the reason for that is this triangle is based on the shift. Notice how this node right here, it shifted one unit to the right. This node right here shifted two units to the right, three units and then, and, you know, so forth. Um, so you start with 0, 1, because 1 squared is 1, and then 0, 4, because 2 squared is 4, you add, it's less than 10, so add a 0's place. 3 squared is 9, so 0, 9, and then 4 squared is 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the... Uh, Start at this, so shifting one unit to the left. 
uh, to the right. So now we're going to do 2AB. So we're going to connect the 1 and the 2 together right here, so forth. And um, so that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 0, 4. And then we're going to do 2 times 3 times 2 is going to be 12. So this is 12. And then 3 times 4 times 2 is 12, 24. And then 24 and so forth. 24 times 5 times 2 is 40. And then in this case, 5 times 6 is 2, 2 is 60. Okay, hopefully oh, the placement. And then ooh, 6 times 42, uh, 84. Notice like 24 now. Notice the pattern. So you're taking 24 plus 60 is 84. Okay. Um, so I think we're at the 9. And then you take these numbers combined as 8 times 7 is 56. Okay. So now we have to add a once place. So I usually just add it up here. Uh, this is going to be 100. Hold on a second. 56, 112, 12. So basically the placement I didn't want to put right here because it would cause a little bit of confusion. So it's just 112, you shift it to the left. And then at the end, we're going to have 8 times 9, which is 72, uh, 144. So again, 144. And then now for the next number, we're going to start on this line. So now we're doing shifting two units. So instead of you start with A and then you go to A, C. So shifting the distance now becomes two. Uh, so this case, it's going to be uh, three times one times two is six. And then, and then we're gonna do two times four shifting. Start, you keep shifting one unit to the right, but you just have the distance equals two. So this is a uh, 16, okay. And then three times five is 15, 30. Okay, and then 4 times 6 is 24, 48. Okay, uh, 5 times 7 is 35, 70. And then 6 times 8 is 48 times 2 is 96, I believe. And then uh, 7 times 9, 18, 20, 60, 63, 126. So again, 100. And 26. Notice how we shifted. It's like formulating a triangle. And now we have to shift again one unit. And now we're we're going to do A, D. Now it's the distance is 3. So 2 times A times D is 8. So it becomes 0, 8. Okay. Uh, 2 times 5. Okay. So we have a distance uh, 2 in between. So 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, 20 and then 3 times 6 is 18 um, 36 okay then 4 4 times 7 28 uh, 56 hopefully I got this right uh, okay 5 times 8 is 40 80 okay and then um six times nine nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six forty five notice we're going down by one so before seven times nine now it's six times nine and that becomes distance one um 54 so 54 times two is 108 so in this case we're going to add another one oh eight and we keep shifting so now the distance is now going to be um, 3. So now we're doing 1 times 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. 2 times 6. So 2 times 6 is 12 is 24. 3 times 7 is 21. 42. 4 times 8 is 3264. And then 5 times 9 is 4590. Okay, now we're less than 100 for all like these cases. 
so we shift again. And right here, it's a distance of four, so it's now one times six is tw times two times is 12. And then it's uh, two times seven is 14. And this is going to be uh, 20, 28. Um, three times eight is going to be 2448. And then uh, four times nine is nine to 27, 36 is 72. So then now we're going to shift another unit. Um, for this case, it's a distance of um, five, I believe. So it's now going to be one times seven times two is 14. Two times eight now is going to be 16, which is uh, 32. And then three times nine is 9, 18, 27, 54. Notice how it keeps shifting. So next one is one times eight is 16. And then two times nine is 1836. And then the last one is one times nine times two, which is uh, 18. So there we have it. So basically we have to multiply and add them up. Hopefully I get it all right. You go from right to left. So you start with one and then you get this one and then eight plus four so we're working with this area right here. A plus four is 12. So we have to add a one's placement. So it's just a two. If we add the one's placement for the next row. Uh, six plus four is four is 10, 14, 15. Again, we have to add another one. Uh, so now we have eight plus two plus two. That's 10, 12, uh, 18, 20. So now we have to add a two. Um, so we took care of that row. Took care of this row right here. Um, so now we have two plus one, that's three. Let's see, that's 12, 13, uh, 19. So again, we have to add a one here. Um, so nine, 11, uh, 20, 24, 28, 31. So now we have to add a three for this row. Uh, I believe, yes, yeah, so we took care of this or we're over here. So let's see, it's gonna get pretty hectic. Uh, so 7, 8, 11, okay, that's 15, okay, that's uh, 15, 23 plus 8 is um, 31, 37, 40, okay, so took care of that row, 40, so we have to add a 4 right here, <clears throat> oh wow, okay, so it's kind of following, it's not linear. I didn't make it too linear. So now we have to add four plus three is seven, uh, 14, let's see, 14, 20, 26, uh, 34, 39, 45. So we have now another four up here and then work on this line. Eight plus three, so 11, uh, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 24, 32, 38, 44, 48. Um, okay, 48. So we add that one. So that's 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, uh, 10, 16, um, 20, 28, 31. 37, 38, so we have to add a three. So six, nine, 13, 40, 50, 16, 20, 22, 26, 27, so you have to add a two. Two plus one, okay, three, seven, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, so you have to add a one. So that's 10, 12, 18, 20, 21. Okay, I believe that's a one right there. So that's two, four, uh, two, four, five, 13, 14. It's so another one. Okay, that's six, seven, 
11, 12. Again, that's just 4 plus 1 is 5. 1 plus 0 is 1. And I believe this is it. Uh, probably screwed up somewhere. But this is the basis of Vedic mathematics, and it just kind of shows this is based on the Pascal triangle. Uh, it's, a, it's an extension of Pascal's triangle. And it just shows the symmetry, the you know how math is just formulated through multiple patterns. That's how all these formulas have been derived and just displays the, uh, yeah, just um, anyone's uh, interested because math is pretty much everywhere. The symmetries, the patterns, are, you know, exist everywhere. And uh, this is just a way we extend it or express it and quantitate it, quantizable form or quanta, or quanta, uh, or um, how, how we formulate this uh, or construct, you know, that this, this, or this, this field was constructed to, uh, for us to speak the language, you know, in some way to communicate it, the, you know, and the numbers are just functions in general are an extension of what we know or what we perceive. So yeah, this is very just Vedic mathematics. Um, that's all I have right now. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.